Hey guys, welcome back to the Life Elevated Trailers YouTube channel. Got an exciting video for you today. These are the new 2023 free rides from Trails West. They come in a 28 foot and a 34 foot trailer. I'm gonna walk you through what's new for 2023. Um, the stock options, the popular options we put in them, all the different dimensions on these trailers, and then kind of how we set them up and how we use them. So let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm gonna tell you about the new options for 2023. And then as I say them, we're gonna have pictures pop up to show you what those are. Number one is we've added a kill switch to the trailer so that when you jump out of the trailer, you just wanna shut everything off, you can hit that kill switch. It kills everything except for the power ramp, your load lights, and the furnace. The second thing we've done for 2023 is we've got um, lights up in the gooseneck and there's two sets of lights in the gooseneck. There's a night light and you've got extra lights up there as well. We also changed the interior lights to a longer light going down the center of the trailer. It provides a little bit more of a flood um, aspect to make it easier to see what you're doing inside the trailer. Um, third thing is the layout. So this was actually thought up by us here at Life Elevated Trailers. And that's why we feel like we're the best dealer to order your trailer from because we're always churning thinking on this stuff. We moved all the bunks and all the sofas forward and moved your cabinets and some of the storage to the back. So you have essentially a mud room at the back of the trailer that's easy to kind of leave all your dirt back there. And then where your bunks and your couches are, you can keep a more clean area. Um, most of, almost everyone who's bought them this year has said it's been a major game changer for them. Um, there's an extra hanger in here, just a little, little item. And then the last thing is another, again, thing from us, is we didn't love the chrome fronts on these trailers, so we had the manufacturer paint match them. Now all the chrome fronts are paint matched to the color of the trailer. And out here you'll see, as Carson walks backward, we have um, every color that this trailer comes in. Well, our most popular colors, there is red and some other things, but we've got a white one, a silver one, a black one, and a charcoal one. And while you're looking that direction, one thing I wanna highlight is these three are 28s, and that third one is, a, or that fourth one is a 34. And so you can see how much extra trailer is there is on a 34 because we lined them up to show you what that six feet looks like in the real world. All right, guys, this is the rear porch setup. It comes standard on all the free rides. And then this is the screened in rear door, which is held in place by magnets. It's on an automatic retractable string. Goes up just like that. Makes it super nice for hanging out on the evenings and whatnot, up out of the dirt on elevated platform. All right, guys, you got me holding the piece of paper. I apologize, but I just wanted to go over all the standard features with you so you know what comes in the most base model free ride. If you're not interested in this, we've got the video sectioned out. You can actually skip this section and go to the things you are interested in. If you look at the bottom of the screen, that'll be kind of sectioned out on your timeline. But on these trailers, stand, your standard options are they come lined and insulated. Um, they come with obviously a man door grab handle. They come with a converter package, which means um, you can plug it in and it'll charge your battery and two outlets. Comes with two six volt batteries. Um, the picnic table is standard. The USB stations are standard. The mirror, the cup holders, goggle holders, basically all your storage is standard that you see in this trailer with the cabinets and things. Um, it does come with a 14 by 14 vent standard um, and a pre-wired vent in the front for an AC. There are no fans in those though. Comes standard with one passenger side window. The gooseneck windows are standard. The mattress is standard. The night lights are standard. The 40,000 BTU furnace is standard. Propane tanks, the six cubic foot fridge is standard. The two burner cooktop, the sink, the shower toilet, the 50 gallon fresh, 28 gray, 28 black, the six gallon water heater, uh, the microwave, porch light, rear flood light, spare tire and wheel, the white body um, with the black roof. 2023, we've got a three-year bumper-to-bumper warranty and a five-year structure warranty. All right, now at Life Elevated Trailers, we use these trailers. So I want to go over the popular options that we have added to pretty much every trailer we order because we use them and we found what works best. So popular options are an extra set of bunks. If you want to sleep more than two in bunks, you had an extra set, you got four. The rollover sofa is a super popular option. The fuel is a very popular option. The awning, the stereo with the outside speakers, a solar package is almost priceless. Um, and then that's pretty much it on our popular options that we add to these trailers. I might think of a few more when we do the walkthrough and I'll mention those then, but those are the things 
air conditioners is one thing I know I just forgot. So we usually do a single AC and a white 28. However, you can do a dual AC and a white 28. Um, in any darker color, we usually do dual ACs. And especially in the 34s, no matter what, we put in a dual AC package. All right, guys, I just want to show you how well thought out and how simple it is to get your trailer set up to camp in once you've arrived and unloaded your toys. already ready to go. And the reason that's so cool is because I don't come to the mountain to hang out in my trailer and set things up. I come to play. And when I don't have to spend an hour unloading stuff, setting things up, undoing buckles and latches and things, it takes me literally two minutes. It just makes for a way better experience. And putting it away is almost the same, which I'll show you later. This trailer goes up as fast as it came down. Hey guys, here we are at the back of the trailer. Before we go, off, go through all the specs, I wanted to go over the lengths and the dimensions inside this trailer. So this is your 28 foot gooseneck. What that means is 28 feet on the floor and then eight feet in the gooseneck, giving you a 36 foot overall trailer. The other trailer is a 34 foot floor with an eight foot gooseneck, giving you a 42 foot um, overall trailer. So in here, right at the back door, you're 81 inches with the screen door in place, 82 without it. Um, and then on here on the floor, coming all the way to the bathroom. So to right here, you're 21 and a half feet. Okay, so two four or two two seat razors, easy behind this. And then this dimension right here is 71 and a half inches. And then you go to 24 feet, four inches to the start of the cooktop. So again, 21 and a half feet to right here, and then 24 feet four inches to right here in the 34 foot version, you've got 27 and a half feet to the bathroom, and then you have 30 feet, four inches to the cooktop. So in the 34 footer, you can easily fit two four seaters and some other stuff. And as long as your side by side is not wider than 71 and a half inches, you can pull it up an extra three feet into this area, making it possible to fit two four seaters in this trailer as well. All right, let's get to the fun part, the features. So the power, the rear ramp is powered, meaning you can just push a button that raises and lowers no problem. In the rear of the trailer, I talked about this being a mud room with the new layout. We've pushed the bunks and the couches forward, and then we've kind of left this as a place to get all your dirty stuff off and kind of, if you're going to have a dirty area of the trailer, have it be right here. On this wall, we've got obviously a ton of storage. All these are soft open, soft closed cabinets on gas shocks super high quality pieces, tie down holders, hooks, hooks, helmet holders, whatever you need on the back here. And then you'll notice in the floor, we've got 5,000 pound D-rings spaced evenly throughout the box for all your tie down um, stuff that you need to do. We've got cup holders here on the wall. There's USB ports above these beds. So the people who are sleeping on the bunks have a place to charge their stuff. Um, broom built into the bottom of the sofa super handy for sweeping it out just the little details that make it really nice in here we do this option which is the fantastic roof vent fan it cover it it's a 14 by 14 roof vent fan that pushes a ton of air has a three speed selector on it reversible direction super nice piece and something we really recommend for getting a ton of air in or out of the trailer when you're staying in it we've got our speakers here this is an outlet for the 40,000 BTU furnace. So you get the heat evenly distributed throughout the trailer. Um, and then this is the additional window that we add in all of ours. Got another uh, roof vent fan right above me. You can obviously see the picnic table and the rollover sofa set up. This sofa does roll over as a sleeper. It's got two more legs on it, very simply. And the nice thing is, is a lot of trailers, when you have them fully set up, you can't actually get through anywhere. This you still can squeeze through with the sofa all the way down. 
And now that we're getting closer to the front, we'll start to get into more of the brains of the trailer. Um, I did just want to highlight the outlet here above the table that is either powered by the op optional inverter or when you're plugged into shore power. We'll go over that in a second. Um, right here on the wall, you've got a lot of your lights, a lot of that stuff. And this is your thermostat for your furnace, um, on off switch, selectable temperature. So it automatically turns on and off, um, smoke alarm. And then right here, you've got, uh, some of the brains of the trailer, which is all your levels, your propane levels, battery levels, freshwater, black water, gray water, um, awning extend and retract along with your six gallon DSI water heater turns on here and your pump when you're on the 50 gallon fresh water tank underneath the, um, the stove here. When you're using that, use your water pump. It also has a city water fill on the outside. If you do have pressurized water, you leave that off, you hook onto that and that supplies the water pressure for the trailer. Um, right here's the kill switch we talked about earlier. What this does, it kills lights, everything except for your rear ramp, your load lights and your furnace shut off when I turn that off. So kick that back on for you. Um, microwave, two burner cooktop, runs off the propane bottles up under the front of the trailer. And then this is your shower toilet combo right here. We'll show you a picture of that. It's kind of hard to film while I go through it, but the door mag is magnetic. So it stays shut when you're going down the road just fine. And then it does have a locking mechanism inside for when you're using it. And it has a roof vent with a fan that comes standard right next to it so that you can run a fan sucking air out of here with all the steam and stuff that comes out of a shower. Um, moving forward up into the goose a little further, we have a ton more storage. We've got extra lights up underneath here um, that have a little switch on them that turn on both for your cooktop and for your sink. So if you're doing stuff at night, you don't want everything on, but you just want a little light to cook by or um, wash the dishes by, you have that. And then um, obviously a full tub sink here. And then you have extra switches right here to turn on that fan and turn on the lights in your bathroom. Um, you'll notice there's heater ports behind me again for the 40,000 BTU furnace. There's one more behind the bathroom that pushes hot air back to the rear of the trailer to keep everything evenly distributed. This is that power inverter I spoke of earlier. It's an option. When you're not plugged into shore power, it takes the bat the power from your batteries and changes it to 110 power. So you can still run your 110 appliances without running a generator. Um, behind me, we've got a ton of USB uh, charging because everything now that we use camping is usually charged on a USB. So your walkie talkies, um, iPhones, iPads, all the stuff, GPS that you use out in, in the woods, you can charge up right here in the trailer. And then you've got your stereo deck, your speaker selector, um, more storage up in the gooseneck. You have day and night shades up in the gooseneck, which I'll show you what those are in the back in just a second. But they allow you to have just a little bit of light blockage or dark on those. Um, you've got a 100 watt solar panel on this trailer, and that's your charge controller up in the front, uh, subwoofer. And then you have the, the main lights and your night lights. So if you just want a little bit of light, you've got that. And then your main lights are obviously these guys right here. Um, so that's kind of back to front in this trailer, everything that we've put in it. Um, the only thing I haven't talked about yet is this is your air conditioner. And then um, we have a screen door right here on this trailer so that when you're hanging out in the trailer, you can shut the screen, shut, keep the bugs out, but still have air flowing through and not have that kind of claustrophobic sealed in feeling inside here um, and then this just lets go on a magnet and just retracts smoothly right back into where it came from um, so yeah that's the inside of the trailer that's kind of everything that this does um, i'll show you that day and night shade real quick so what we're talking about is you pull it down the first time and it comes down in a nice clear one pull it down the second time and it has a much darker gray shade that comes down and then they just both open right back up just like they came down um, <clears throat> obviously the fridge freezer combo too. This is a six cubic foot fridge freezer combo. The top is a totally separate ice box. And then down below, you've got a large fridge to keep all your stuff cool when you're out on the mountain. Um, I went over this earlier, but there's a 28 gallon gray and a 28 gallon black tank, 50 gallon freshwater tank. And then on the outside, I mentioned a fuel cell earlier. 
that's a 40 gallon fuel cell. Um, generally, you do lose a few gallons um, just in air space in a 40 gallon tank. So you'll get between 35 and 40 gallons in that fuel cell. The nozzle is up under the front, which we'll walk around the front of the trailer in just a second, go through all that. And then you'll kind of have everything that comes in this trailer. You'll kind of understand it, know what you're buying before you come down. All right, guys, here we are at the front of the trailer. I'm gonna show you the fuel, the propane and the batteries. So right over here, you've got your on off for your pump. Again, that's a 40 gallon fuel tank that comes on this trailer, usually holds about 35 to 40 gallons. Super handy, really popular option. Full size spare tire, so you don't have to worry about that. Seven and a half gallon propane tanks. We upgraded those from the fives because getting propane is a pain in the butt sometimes. Um, and then you've got dual six volt batteries giving you 12 volts total with a ton of juice on this trailer with the optional solar panel. Make sure that all your 12 volt stuff runs pretty much um, without having to run a generator ever. Um, so yeah, that's from the trailer. And then this all is obviously behind a really nice diamond plate wall and comes with your sewer hose right up here in the front. All right, guys, we showed you taking the trailer down. Let me show you how easy it is to put the trailer back up. And that's it. As quick as that, you can have everything put up out of the way. I'm going to pull a side by side in here just so you can get a feel for how a 72 inch wide machine fits in this trailer. One dimension I did want to mention is between these bunks is going to be your narrowest point in the trailer. You're only 89 inches right there. And then I'll just collapse these legs. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll pull right in. All right, guys, just to conclude the video, a few minor details I want to mention. Number one is your propane outlet right here on the outside of the trailer. That's a really popular option we add so you can plug in your camp chef and cook outside. And then for just working on the trailer, simplicity wise, we add an access panel for 2023 to the furnace so that we don't have to tear the trailer apart if you do need any work done. Moving forward, that will be a, a big addition if you ever do have to get at that furnace. Um, and I don't know if you picked up on it, but in this video, we talked about a lot of the options they're doing for 2023. Almost all of those were with feedback from us because here at Life Elevated Trailers, we use trailers. We camp, we ride razors, we ride dirt bikes, we snowmobile, we do all the outdoor sports and we use the trailers when we do those outdoor sports. So we realize what works, what doesn't. And so when you go to order a free ride and you want to get the right trailer for you, there's no one better in the business to give you the options you need, know how they work and what works and what doesn't work to get you to the mountain in the best economical, making the best economical decision, but getting all of the options that you truly are going to want. So thank you for watching. Smash that subscribe button. We appreciate it. More content's coming later. Thanks guys.